What up and welcome back to Boring Reviews. Jody here. Nick here. And today we're reacting to another Would I Lie to You? Yes, you would. But we're checking out Wilty here today, baby. I would not lie to you. Yeah, you would. I was very honest with you when I spent that $45 plus tip on something we didn't need at the mall. Oh my gosh. What are you talking about? $45 plus tip. That shoe cleaner. Oh, yeah. Let's not get into that. That's not, who goes to a mall or whatever, and there's those little kiosks people selling stuff you don't need, and you actually pay for it, because it was the guy's last sell to get to his bonus. And I'm sure he uses that for everybody. But I just Shoe cleaner. felt bad. I okay. felt bad. We're not going to talk about that. But we are going to tell you another would I lie to you, and this time, it's kind of perfect because we just recorded a reaction to Peter Kay, and he had mentioned the royal wedding of uh oh gosh kate and william william thank you very regal name and this one is did lee max skip prince harry's different prince wedding because of what i lied to you now the prince harry one has a little more application for me than the prince william <laughs> because i'm not really into the whole royal wedding kind of nonsense but I have started watching the show Suits on Netflix, and it has Meghan Markle on there. Never seen her in anything before. I knew the name from the whole catastrophe and controversy. I'm sure people in the UK do not like her at all. Um, but she's fantastic in that show. So I was talking to someone who, you know, is here in the States. He can't stand her either. But I was like, but her character's so awesome, <laughs> knowing that that's not who she is. So I'm interested to hear what he has to say about it, just because I had that recent connection. Check out Suits. It's a fantastic show. On that note, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. And we are going to react to Did Lee Ma oh, Nick just changed the screen on me. To Lee Max get Prince Harry's wedding because of what I lied to you. I already mentioned the title, sister. Just in case they got confused. So I was glad she screener. added so much to my whole diatribe there. Here we go. It's Lee. <laughs> I was genuinely invited to Harry and Meghan's wedding today, but I said no because I had to come here and do this. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> and why were you invited? I already think it's a lie. I'm just going to say it right now. That's not my final guess, but I already think it's a lie. Okay, I'm not ready yet. Well, that, David, <laughs> is as much of a shock to me as it is to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, telly. for example, <laughs> Prince Harry or Meghan Markle? Well, I met Prince Harry and he was very nice and he did say that he was a fan of this show. Mm. So he's definitely seen me because yeah. I'm on this show. <laughs> if this is true, well, it's a bit David? of a blow to me and Rob. <laughs> well, well, this we, is... I, well, I wasn't invited. Maybe Rob was as well. I, I, I really can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know if He's Rob was in. invited, yes. he would be able to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is interesting, because I want to know if you were invited, because as soon as I got the invite, I met Prince Harry, and I know he's a fan of the show, so I immediately assumed that you two had been invited as well. Yeah. So I yeah. went to phone you, and I phoned you first, and I put the phone down, because I didn't want to ask in case you hadn't been invited. I thought it wouldn't be a good idea. Yes, it, so would be, it would be a horrible thing to let slip, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. If the, you'd been invited, it would be a horrible thing to do to someone under any circumstances, even if it wasn't in public. <laughs> so you think he's going, OK, George Clooney, yeah. David Beckham, Oprah Winfrey, Lee. <laughs> so he didn't even know my surname. <laughs> I should point out to people watching at home that it is the royal wedding day today. Yeah. As we record this, it happened today, didn't it? Yeah. Not... And it was a lovely oh. wedding as well. Look, oh, it was like brought lovely. people it was together, didn't it? Oh. And you know lovely. what I'm glad about? Yeah. I'm glad he wasn't there. Yes. Spider-Man? Did it come through the post? It went through my agent. So it's more like a booking. Were they expecting you to do some of your silly humour or something? <laughs> silly humour. Did you have a plus one as well? Uh, yes, I did. And so your wife was happy for you to come and do this instead of going to the royal <laughs> wedding? <laughs> well, actually, my wife... My wife couldn't go anyway. So that was the other problem as well. And then I thought, well, 
who would I take? And I did actually think of one of you two. I thought that's going to be more awkward. So I immediately... But then I thought maybe it's not awkward if David's been invited, as I suspected, and Rob hasn't. I'll take Rob. <laughs> and then we're all going. There was a lot of social etiquette. I was all... I was a mess. That is the other question. Why didn't... Cos the wedding finished... Well, at, this is the irritating thing. one. Yes, And then exactly. there was a lunch. I got the invite that said the wedding is going to be at 12 o'clock. Mm hmm And... I thought in my head, no one would say 12 o'clock, meaning that's when the wedding is. That would mean, you know, you turn up at 12 o'clock and then you go through all the rigmarole of security, blah, 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 and actually the wedding's going to be about two. Then you've got the actual ceremony, then you've got the meal. I wasn't going to get here because. Yes, it's like when you buy theatre tickets, the time is just when they think you should leave home. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you're angry. Yeah. <laughs> very angry. I didn't... I don't... I didn't write the invites. Very angry and very hurt and very bruised, whether this is true or not. <laughs> That's a terrible thing, because my... my thought processes have gone down the lines of it being true, and... and it feels like I've been through it emotionally, even <laughs> if I haven't. <laughs> OK, time to decide. Well, um... I... I, I, I love the purple-blue background. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is nice. I don't know. I'm hoping it's a lie because I feel bad for David. I he's he's doing a great job of selling. It. I don't really think he's as mad as he's saying he is. Um, but I'm sure he's a little disappointed. He could have got invited and he couldn't go, or maybe he did go. Who knows? I definitely still think it's a lie, 100. percent I mean, even like the 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 proctor, the host, or whatever, he's saying, you know, it was filmed today, just so you guys know. And he is here, like I think it's selling a little too much. I'm not sure why the host would not make a difference either way. Why would care? I think it's a lie. I, I think it's unlikely. I'd love it to be true, but I think it's unlikely. I wouldn't. This has been... <laughs> this, this has been one of the most psychologically damaging thought experiments <laughs> I've ever gone through. And um, so I, I couldn't... I, I don't think I could pronounce the words, I think this is true. Oh, I just did. <laughs> you think it's true? Uh, we're going to say lie? I think lie. Lie. We're going to say lie. I have a horrible feeling <laughs> in the pit of my stomach. <laughs> That it's true. It's like waiting with a specialist for a result. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically, if this is true, when that moment comes for both of us, it'll just be a mercy. <laughs> I just want it to be a lie because I feel so bad. Tell us. They think it's a lie. I pray <laughs> it's a lie. It is, in fact, true. <gasps> I was thinking, through. I was wrong. I was thinking that I wanted to be alive so bad. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Well, I hope that's the last question of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> well, How did you thank keep you that for secret? watching. Um, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I mean, thank you for watching. Oh, actually, there's something else as well. Sorry, I've got to tell you this as well, which is quite important. This is a true story as well. I was lying. <laughs> oh! Yes! Yes! Look at the smile on his little happy face. Look at the little happy face. Yes! The streak continues. David did like look slightly like so sad there for a little bit. I still think he's adding a lot to it, but he might have been a little sad. Oh, he might have. I think deep down he was a little bit like. Looking back now and how, and they're still married, but how the aftermath has been, maybe he's not as sad anymore. Who knows? Yes. Praise be! It was a lie. Of course it was a lie. Lee wasn't invited, of course he wasn't, to Harry <laughs> and Meghan's <laughs> wedding. Do you know what I think? I think the producers of this show are just trying to turn us against each other. Yeah. <laughs> They're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh awesome. Oh, my God. That was great. That was a lot of fun. That was. That was. Oh, I, I just wanted it to be a lie so bad, no matter what, because I was just going to feel so bad. And when they said true, I was just like... My heart went to David and the host, but really David, because he just... Yeah, I... I don't know, I, just, I was feeling... It was, I was so confident about that. When it said true, I just... 
I'm thinking to myself, like, what am I going to say now once you this were. video is over? You were so confident. Even at the beginning, you called it right before like, you even started. Yeah. And I was just still so unsure. I, I wasn't sure on that one. And I, I could understand, like, his wife had something already planned. Maybe the invite came later on, this or that. But if you really think about it, if his wife did have something going on, no offense. But if you were invited to the royals wedding, no matter yeah. how much you really didn't care about them, you would go. Just to be like, dude, I was one of the few people invited. You would think so. I mean, it'd be great for your career, if anything. <clears throat> I mean, as silly as that is, let's be honest, it would be. Um, but I really enjoyed that one. And I've really enjoyed every would I lie to you so far. So this is, again, whoever was the first person to re request it, thank you so much. We're going to keep doing our reactions to this. And I've been so, so good because this is on BritBox and I haven't watched any of them. So she's doing great. Gabe and I have been doing uh, reactions to music. First time him listening to classic rock songs or heavy metal. And he's been really good about that. Like he wants to explore these bands more and more and I won't let him. So I appreciate everybody who sacrifices for the channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Salute.